Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing uh, the second part of the game Phantasmagoria. This is Phantasmagoria, a puzzle of flesh. Um, I don't know why I didn't call it part two. I actually like this one better than the original Phantasmagoria. Um, I love the cinematography, the story, especially the story. The story is extremely memorable, at least in my opinion. Uh, but it, this is a very, very gory game. Um, a lot more gorier than the first one. And uh, even the video and the uh, green screen, everything was just much, much better quality. So let's take a look at it. So the box, there's nothing special about the box as far as embossing or gold or anything. There is this really cool artwork right here. Uh, there is a new rating right here. Just noticed it. But this is the front. Top just says um, Phantasmagoria Puzzle of Flesh. Then it has that R code thing for anti theft on the side. It has a quote about how gory it is, and it just says gore, gore, and more gore. Same thing on the side. Sexiest computer game, PC. On the bottom, you have your specs for Windows 95. And then the back. So, again, no embossing or nothing special on the box, but as you can see, it looks almost like a, a movie, like a really good horror movie. And uh, in my opinion, definitely is. So let's go ahead and open it up. And unfortunately, unlike unlike the original Phantasmagoria, this one just comes with just a <laughs> CD case. Uh, let's see, here's an ad for the first part, Phantasmagoria 1. It's one of those double CD cases. When you open it up, uh, as you can see, there's nothing here, just the paper. And then you have five, I believe, of these CDs. Nothing really special about the CD, no good embossing or anything, really. Except for the reading. The reading kind of stands out, which I think is pretty cool. But, yeah, so on this side, so right here, you have the manual. And kind of like the first part, I like the first part better, the manual is just better. Uh, this one is in color, so it's like a dark flesh red. Um, has enough information, but really no good artwork, unlike the first part. Uh, and the team that made it. Uh, no notes page. So, yeah, realistically, that's really it for this game. Um, there's, you know, like I said, no goodies or no embossing or nothing as far as the presentation goes. But um, I definitely like this one better than the first part. Um, I just really loved the story. The story is a lot more memorable. Uh, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Um, so if you get a chance to get it, definitely you'll love the story. And it's one of those stories that even when it ends, uh, you still kind of think about it. Kind of gives you an awe moment. That is it for this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.